Okay, sometimes you just want to have precise animation inside Arena. And how would you do that? For this clip, I wanted to create four different colors in the light ups. And I also wanted to have some kind of a twitch or fuzziness going on when the cables are on to emphasize the, the power that is running there. And then I realized that I shouldn't do it. I just have to make the clip just like this and then I will do everything in Arena later. So that's what I did in, uh, inside Arena. Every time the cables light up, there is a different uh, color and there is some kind of a twitch, twitchness going on. And this is made with clip position. Clip position lets you really have precise control. You see when I'm moving the playhead here, there are balls here, uh, balls of fire here. And just uh, keep on firing uh, through all these keyframes. This way I can keyframe exactly what I want to make. So let's talk about first, let's close the switch and talk about the rotate. So every time the cables are going off, I'm changing here the rotation from zero to 25 and here to 75, to 50 to 75, etc. And this way I know that uh, whenever the clip is, uh, is in this position, it doesn't matter if I'll uh, uh, make it faster, go faster, right? Everything is sitting just like it should. So this was about the U rotate and I wanted also to have some twitch exactly in the points where the cables light up. That's also what I did. I'm using here a little bit of scale, a little bit of a uh, light, a RGB shift, blur, and I also limiting here it to 0.70. So if I wouldn't do this keyframing and I just put Twitch on all of the clip. It's too much, you know? There's no, it's, there's no justification for it to, to Twitch all this time. So once I have it twitching only when the cables light up and here changing the color, it's really, really awesome. And I think I gained uh, much control over the clips. That's what I wanted to create. Here's another example. Also for this clip, I was like thinking, yeah, you know, like this, this is going like a surge of energy and uh, the metaverse is head banging and everything and uh, the camera shakes. And again, same story here. This is something that I did in Salarina. Now this might be a little bit uh, over the top, but uh, hey, I'll show it to you anyways. Uh, what I'm doing here is I'm using uh, the transform effect to do all this uh, shifting on uh, X, position X, position uh, Y, and scale. And the Twitch is used here just for, uh, you know, this uh, RGB shift and blur and stuff like that. Let's close this. Let's pause this so we can go through it. So you see, when we start, there's nothing happening. And then once the cable lit up and we have all these keyframes that are uh, moving here, I just uh, added keyframes and then save them is a preset somewhere, you see, impact I called it, and I just could copy them, maybe just uh, change a couple of keyframes for the, for the randomness. So this is how I created this, and the Twitch is, uh, you know, it's happening only when it should happen. And this is the effect that we got eventually. Power, power, power. So that was a clip position. I think it's a really useful uh, mode to make your clips more versatile. All right, I hope it helped you. Go up and amaze them crowds and see you in the next one.